This tutorial is designed to show how to use EndNote software to reference articles in Microsoft Word. In order to use EndNote, we first need to open it. So we do this through using Microsoft Word and the EndNote tab on the top bar. To open EndNote, we select Go to EndNote from the menu, and this will open EndNote. I'm using EndNote version 4, but the software and commands are very similar for EndNote version 3 and EndNote version 2. When first using EndNote, we need to create a new EndNote library, or we need to actually open an existing one. To create a new library, we select File and New. To open an existing library, we select File and Open. We can select New, enter the name of the library, so for instance, we can call this economics and select save. Once we've done this, we open up our library view. Here, once we enter references, they will appear in the reference window here. We can select trash, my groups, which will essentially allow you to subdivide your references into various groups, and we can use various other functions. So we'll begin by adding two references to our EndNote library. We're going to use Robert M. Solo's A Contribution to the Theory of Economic Growth article and Paul Romer's The Origins of Endogenous Growths article. To do so, we select the New Reference tab. And this opens up a form which we literally just fill out with all the information regarding the reference. So for instance, for, Paul, for Robert Solo's article, we just fill out the author name as Solo, and we put the surname first, and we separate the surname from the first name by using a comma, so Solo or. We enter the year, which is 1956. We enter the title, which is a contribution to the theory of economic growth. We enter the journal, which is the Quarterly Journal of Economics. We enter the volume, which is volume 70, the issue number 1, and the page is 65 to 94. Once we've entered all our information, we select File and Save. Now note that we've entered a journal article, so we've set the reference type to journal article. This is the default option. If you're entering the information for a book, you simply select a drop-down menu and choose book from it. Selecting different types of references produces different fields in the field view, which are of relevance to your particular reference. There's also referencing styles for web page, electronic books and edited books. Once we've entered our information and we've saved it, we can choose the small x here to exit this form, and we can see that we now have a reference here in our reference window. One useful feature of EndNote is the ability to actually categorize your various references into different groups. So for example, if you're writing papers on economic growth, you can have a growth reference list. If you're writing an econometrics-based paper, you can have an econometrics reference list. Create various groups, we simply just select the My Groups tab and right click and select Create Group. We'll generate a new group called Economic Growth. Once we've created this group, we can add reference to it by selecting the reference, selecting Add Reference to, and adding it to the group Economic Growth. We now see we've one reference in the Economic Growth group. We can generate numerous groups, so if we create another group and title this Econometrics, we now have a separate grouping with which references can be stored in. Selecting all references displays every single reference you have entered into EndNote. We now want to add our second journal article, so we select the Add Article. We make sure we're set to a journal article, and we enter Romer the year 1994, the title, the origins, 
of endogenous growth. The journal is the journal of economic perspectives. We select the volume number, which is 8, the issue number 1, and the pages, which are 3 to 22. Again, we select File and Save, and we close the form window. We can now see we have Paul Romer, The Origins of Endogenous Growth, in our reference list. We can add this to our Economic Growth group, and we see it's added to Economic Growth. Now, we're going to work using these two journal articles to write a piece in Microsoft Word and reference it. So, we can begin by typing the solo growth model was developed by, and here we now want to enter our reference. To do so, we just need to select the Insert Citation tab, which will bring up this field. We can now search for various um, references, so if we search for Solo, we will find Solo here. A brief overview of the reference is provided so you can ensure you're referencing the correct reference. To insert the citation, we simply double-click or select it and select Insert. This is now added to our actual article, and we see a full reference is generated. So we can now create a title, References, and it has been automatically updated to include the solo article. Now note that what we want is solo outside the bracket and the year within brackets. However, the default EndNote option is to put it as such. So solo 1956 within the brackets. In order to move solo outside the brackets, we can simply type it outside, and we now want to remove solo from within it. To remove solo from within the brackets, we don't delete it, as any time we update EndNote, we'll simply just repopulate this reference category with solo. Instead, we right-click on the reference, select Edit Citation, and select Exclude Author. Here we can now see we have the solo growth model was developed by solo 1956. So again, the year is referenced. We can then type the next sentence, which may be the endogenous growth model develops upon this. And now we do want the reference within brackets. So we simply select the Insert Citation tab. This time we're looking for Romer. We select Romer and select Insert. This places Romer inside brackets at the end of our sentence, and we can see it's automatically added alphabetically to our reference list. You can continue to type in such a way and it will continue to add to the reference list automatically. We can also note that, let us say, we're revising our draft and we don't want this sentence here anymore. Deleting this will automatically delete Romer from our reference list, ensuring that the reference list is always up to date, that any references which are included in the article are added automatically to the reference list, and any reference which we delete is automatically removed from the reference list. That concludes this tutorial, which is an introduction to EndNote. Further tutorials are available on YouTube.